for me, I wouldn't just speak to my people. Um, mm. It wouldn't be those in the industry because I'm a human. Firstly, I'm a human, so I'm going to speak to human beings. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was, I like um, that yeah. you can generalize it. <laughs> speak okay. to human beings because we all should be givers um, mm -hmm. in all ways. As long as you're receiving, if you receive a day of life, you've received something and you need to give back mm -hmm. to earth. Uh -huh. You can go and plant a seed and go plant, you're giving back, or you can plant something in the life of individual that's uh -huh. also giving back. So it's not just about being a public figure. You can be a non-public figure and you have the capacity. You can be a public figure and you also have the capacity. It's just about the initiative and most importantly, the mindset. Uh -huh. It's the mindset. The mindset, what kind yes. of mindset? So the mindset of giving, just okay. being able to give back. I think what you've done is um, it's nothing short of amazing in the Thank sense you. that you have donated computers to um, children in the orphanage. Yes. So why? Let me ask you. Let, let's at the very basis. Why? <laughs> well, if you ask me why, I would ask you back. Why not? Right? Ah, okay. <laughs> let's that start was, with that. Um, okay. I believe it's our responsibilities as citizens, as individuals, to do and give back. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier on, you are to give back to God, just that you can't give God anything mm, physically, physically, right? Yes. So the things that we give back to God is these things. And um, there are individuals in communities who are more as priorities, which are minorities. And children are minorities, same with the women and the elders. So my focus here is on the children. So that's my reason of that's starting your first. That's your reason. You're focused on the children. Yes. We were having a little conversation before we officially yeah. started <laughs> the interview. You, you've been involved in uh, philanthropic activities Absolutely. from way back. Absolutely. Yeah, this, uh, it, it's, it's quite, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say I'm having a hard time believing or understanding <laughs> it, but I know there are a lot of people who might share yeah. this opinion. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I started with asking you why. Yeah. 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 So, but what's the goal for you? Well, let, let me put it out with as simple as possible. I, okay, I believe firstly to be a philanthropist, it has to be in you. You must be a giver. Let's start with that. If you're not a giver, you can't do this. So it's giving comes from the heart, right? Mm -hmm. You're not expecting anything back from it. You're not doing it with reasons. And starting this ever since I've been young, um, I started off in Canada, in Toronto, Canada, okay. um, in school. We were going around in different communities. We would give homeless individuals food on lunch boxes okay. and um, having that growing up while I was um, I believe I believe I was definitely less than 18 oh wow yeah high school <laughs> high school high school wow. <laughs> high school okay so um, of course I wasn't capable mm -hmm. then so mm -hmm. it was just more of my services okay. so now I believe that I just don't want it to be service I want it to be service with actions so these are my kind of actions that I want to have going on and it's going to be more mm. it has to be more yeah. I need to give back if you I do need if to. I'm receiving mm -hmm. I have to give or else I'm not going to have enough space to yes. take more things. And, and, <laughs> and talking about receiving uh, at this stage of your career, everybody know at least a large number of people know who Linda Osifo is. The industry is doing well. You are doing well. I was even speaking with a friend sometime. I can't remember. He saw <laughs> film reviews and he was like, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, he was really, really impressed Thank you. with this. And I understand you also did this to celebrate your birthday. Yes, I did. You understand? So you're, you turned 30 now. Yes. So that means by 31, okay. you've, you've done it at computers. Maybe next year it will be buses, cars. Yes. Well, okay. This is our second annual, so it's mm -hmm. not the first time. Okay. We've had this last year. Okay. Um, it's easier to do it middle of the of the of the year because mm -hmm. beginning of the year is quite busy, and mm -hmm. towards the end of the year gets busy. And fortunately for me, I'm born in the middle of the year, so <laughs> glory to God. <laughs> so everything works, everything everything works, works for my good. Works for good. Um, good. However, the, there's a goal behind it. The mm. goal is expansion. The yeah. goal is global. Um, it's an individual initiative first, but the goal is to expand it. I want to have this being done in different orphanages mm -hmm. within Nigeria, starting okay. with. Um, of course, I have to start within my close facilities, okay. which are where I am here in Lagos, um, but I want to take it to 
Edo State, I want to take it to Port Harcourt, I would like to take it to Abuja, mm -hmm. I would like to take it to other other facilities, Religio, yes, zones, other facilities yeah. and regions that are not so much exposed. And the more supports we have, the more we can get bigger. My dream would be to have like 27,000 desktops <laughs> being donated because imagine you're able to do that and you're diminishing illiteracy. Yes. In your own little way. Um, mm -hmm. I believe that if a child is coming here and they're practicing how to type, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's yeah, a way you need to type with. on desktop. Mm -hmm. Just even if you don't have a screen, you can learn with the with the, the keyboards, keyboard, yes. and that itself would help. Rather than being idle and doing nothing, that itself would help. And mm -hmm. if we can conquer 27,000 orphanages for the year, maybe not this year, but in the but future, the, uh, yes. I think that would be great. Amazing, Thank amazing. You. So I understand you're doing this via your own foundation. Yes, I am. What's it called? The LAO Foundation, and that stands for okay. Love and Oneness Foundation. Love and Oneness, that's yes. a beautiful name. Thank so, you. <laughs> you're doing this yourself individually, like yes. this is your own personal project now. Yes. So, are you are you going to welcome people, other people who, wants, who want to partner with you? I am begging for people to okay, come let's, and partner let's hear with you, me. Let's hear you of tell course. Them now. Um, let's hear you tell them. You know, you can't be an island. It's not easy to do this alone. And, like I said, the vision is bigger than myself. The more sponsors, the more hands, the more support, or the more. More, um, the more similarities. It may not be support, but take the initiative. The more initiative of such that we have to expand, then that's a good one. So if I can definitely get more support, whether financially, whether intellectually, or even um, any form, I think that's that's going to be really great for the foundation. Okay, okay. So Linda, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this was uh, this was amazing. But before before I go, I, I'd like you to speak to people in your position. When I, by people in your position, I mean actors, actresses, you know, people who receive a lot of mm -hmm. love and finance, uh, finances and uh, everything. Yes. You understand? But most of them, it's not like they, do, they don't have whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. But you, you're, you're in front of the media, you're doing this and letting everybody know that this is what. Yeah. And so I'd like you to speak to them now. Is it, is it, first of all, is it really important? Do they need to? So for me, I wouldn't just speak to my people. Um, mm -hmm. It wouldn't be those in the industry because I'm a young... Firstly, I'm a human, so I'm going to speak to human beings. Okay. okay. That was, <laughs> um, I like that yeah. you generalize it. <laughs> speak okay. to human beings because we all should be givers um, mm -hmm. in all ways. As long as you're receiving, if you receive a day of life, you've received something and you need to give back mm -hmm. to earth. Mm -hmm. You can go and plant a seed and go plant, you're giving back, or you can plant something in the life of individual that's mm -hmm. also giving back. So it's not just about being a public figure. You can be a non-public figure and you have the capacity you can be a public figure and you also have the capacity it's just about the initiative and most importantly the mindset yeah. it's the mindset the mindset what kind yes. of mindset so the mindset of giving just okay. being able to give back and being able to understand that it's actually part of your responsibility to give back mm. to society. It's part of your responsibility. It's part to, of your responsibility to give to back. Give back. So and when I say give back, mm -hmm. it's not just financially. You give back in services, so, okay. in being kind. That's giving back. That's giving back. Yes. So if, if you're not taking anything away from this interview, you have taken the fact that you <laughs> do need to give back in one way or the other. Yes. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You. I'm happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs>